So the rumor mill has been added again, and this time we have a potential new hero, and this one actually has some merit to it. Major YouTube channels and news outlets have been talking about the potential Doomfist unveil, with Terry Crews as the voice actor. It appeared that it was only a matter of time for Doomfist teasers. However, last week Jeff Kaplan debunked the theory of Doomfist being our 24th hero, and game detectives were on the hunt once more. From the clues that have gone unnoticed by most people for a great deal of time, there's a popular theory that a character of Greek origins may be in development. What makes this so enticing is that Ilios is the only original map that has no connection to one of Overwatch's characters. The first piece of evidence that's being sped around the internet is this image of actor Alex Malo's work credits on his personal website. You can see that it clearly shows a voice acting credit for Overwatch, with the content listed only as Greek. Recently, his web page has changed with the information taken down, but you can still view the original state of the page thanks to the Wayback Machine. I'll leave a link below in the description for you guys to check it out. In Greek, the word Ilios means sun, which is an important clue to keep in mind as it ties in with the other references that can be found in the game. Things become interesting when one looks at the text on Li Zhang Tower on the electronic screen above a doorway, which when translated reads in English, ancient Greek statues emerge in Ilios to reproduce the sun. The news from Li Jiang most likely refers to the statues of Juno, Minerva, and the Colossus of Rhodes in Ilios, which was made in honor of the Greek god of the sun, Helios. These statues seem to be significant in the Overwatch lore as their appearance is worthy enough for a news report, but we also learn from Athena about how they are the target by the agents of Talon, who have been collecting items of power such as the Doomfist Gauntlet. Athena says to the player, Over the past week, Talon activity has been detected in the area. It is my belief that they are attempting to steal the newly unearthed artifacts from the temple ruins atop Helios. A popular theory is that Talon aims to harness the power of these statues and that it would make a great animated short to tease or even introduce a new hero into the game. Clues for a new hero got people unbelievably hyped up, similar to how Blizzard started dropping hints about Sombra back in the fall of 2016. If this is another intentional clue planted from the release of the game to build PR, then it's already a resounding success. The hype train is full of fuel and it's building momentum, but some evidence from the actor himself appears to want to stop it in its tracks. In a video released by the King Fenrir, whose channel I will link below so you can watch the video yourself, he spoke to Alex Malos online. Malos stated that he was not a Greek hero, but instead had recorded random background lines like stuff you would hear on a walkie-talkie or from a random secondary character. It doesn't make a ton of sense for Alex to completely deny these rumors. Blizzard has been known in the past to covet its secrets very strongly, and Alex's denial could be a part of that under some sort of non-disclosure agreement. Other speculations are that the voice acting credit could be for a new short that takes place in Ilios, giving credence to Alex saying that he only played a background character. Either way, as always with Overwatch, something exciting is in the works, whether it be a new Greek hero or a new short. Great new content for Overwatch is on the horizon, and it promises to be just as exciting as everything we've seen so far. By the way guys, my name is Jordan Graham and I'll be hosting this new series called Overtalk where I take you through any relevant Overwatch news, speculation, and much, much more. For more great Overwatch content, make sure to subscribe to Action Esports.